You described your childhood once as a um, semi-detached existence that Norman David would have uh, enjoyed or pushed, or and that it was an unhappy childhood. Profoundly wrong, I think, is the phrase you used, which is quite a beautiful and very evocative phrase. Why profoundly wrong? And did that in some way influence you to, to turn to, to theatre or creativity or writing? Yeah, I think unhappy childhood's a really good uh, writer training somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, the, the essential training ground. And yes, the, the sense that everybody else understands what's going on and you don't understand it. I, I think that's been basic to me as a writer. And even today, I often feel I'm missing the point. And the fact that if, if, for instance, I go to the Middle East and everybody seems to think that the way things are is completely the way things are destined to be, and yet I'm standing there thinking this is very odd, surely this isn't uh, quite how things ought to be. Uh, the thing Raja Shahada was describing yesterday, where suddenly there's a wall where his childhood once was, where he once took a wall across a Palestinian a uh, piece of Palestinian ground and now there's a wall across it and everyone else is going oh yeah that's the wall yeah that's what they built on the ground and he's going um, this seems very strange to me that there's now a wall where I used to walk freely and so my whole feeling as a child was that everybody was living by rules that I didn't understand in the 50s Britain was very uh, it was in a, what I now understand to be a post-war trauma all my parents wanted was peace and quiet. They kept saying, can we have a little peace and quiet? Oh, isn't this nice? It's, oh, this is really lovely, this peace and quiet. And, you know, you know, oh, uh, you know, and I was 10 years old. I don't want peace and quiet. I wanted a little bit of excitement. But there were not many people in Britain in the 1950s who wanted excitement. So they were suffering from, from a trauma of an event which I had missed. And so the sense that I am always at a party where everybody else speaks the language and I don't speak the language, uh, I think that's what made me incredibly emotionally unhappy when I was a child. Uh, but I think that it obviously stood me in very good stead as a writer. Uh, because other things that everybody else takes for granted, I find very strange.